Tom recently, and we were the subject got around to Apple Crumble. Yeah, <laughs> of course it did. Um, so rather than send a um, a recipe, I thought I would send you the methodology in itself. So here we are. I'm going to make myself a small apple crumble. This comes from the Best of Good Housekeeping book, a very old cookbook, which is actually your mother's, because it says Jew inside somewhere. There, there it is. So there, oh, but she, she, do, she does know I've got it, so that's okay. So it comes from in there. So this is a small one. So what you need is, the main things you need, you need plain flour, plain flour and not self-rosing flour, sugar, um, normal granulated sugar is the best I would say. I haven't really got any of that but so I'm using castor sugar and a bit of something else. But normal granulated sugar, absolutely fine. Um, uh, flour, sugar, oh and marge of some kind. You can use butter or you can use margarine or I, I like using the olive spread because I find it makes a very good crumble so I'm using that. So what you need is, for a small crumble, three ounces of plain flour, one and a half ounces of uh, marge or spread of some kind, and one and a half ounces of sugar. Now, if you want to make a bigger crumble, obviously you up it. So, you know, if you wanted to make a huge crumble, you would have six ounces of flour, three ounces of, of marge, three ounces of sugar. But this is a small one, just for two. So there we are, that's three ounces of plain flour. And to that, I'm just gonna add one and a half ounces of marge. I'm putting the sugar and the apple, of course, to one side for a moment, because um, we don't need them just yet. So one and a half ounces of spread goes into that. So here we go. So, right, one and a half ounces. Now here's the, here's the bit. Now, you've got to actually mix those two together, but not just mix it, mix it, you've got to pinch it together. So this is the action you will be doing in there. See, pinch, pinch, pinch. So I'm going to pinch this so it looks like breadcrumbs, that's what it says in the recipe, so keep on pinching, pushing the tube to the flour and the together, pinch, pinch, and you just carry on that, make sure it's all mixed in together so there's an even consistency, so keep on pinching, pinching away, you also need to rub the bits of marge that stick to your fingers off, and keep on doing it, Keep on doing it. Oh, oh, all over the floor. Keep on doing it. It doesn't take too long, but you just don't want big clumps of marge in there. You want it nice and even and all together. So it sticks all over your hands. Definitely don't want any flour all over the place because it'll just turn out horrible. So there we go. So I think, I think we're getting getting there. So pinch, pinch, pinch. Right. So there we have it. I was probably could have done that a bit better, but it's kind of looks like a bit like breadcrumbs all mixed up together. So that's that's what you need to start with. I just want to clean clean all this stuff off my hands and we'll go on to the next next bit. Right, next bit 
you still have the sugar. So this is a small crumble. So we're gonna add one and a half ounces of sugar. So it's three ounces of flour, one and a half of fat, and one and a half of sugar. So as I say, normal granulated sugar will do. So right, I'm gonna mix and match a bit. So I'm gonna, because I haven't got any normally granulated sugar. Uh, also, and you don't have to do this, I'm going to put some brown sugar in as well, because I like it. That should do it. And then, you just mix it all together. And mix the sugar in with that mixture of flour and um, flour and marge. Give it a good mix here. This is uh, comfy. So a nice even consistency. Right. And there is your basic crumble mix. Okay, all right, I'm just going to put this into a different bowl for a moment because I'm going to put, I'm actually going to make the crumble in this bowl. So I now need to prep the apple. I'll just put that to one side. So the apple, so this is only a small crumble, so it's just one mean Granny, uh, not Granny Smith, um, Bram, uh, Bramley cooking apple. You won't get these in the States, Tom. Uh, use any other apples you can find. Um, but the, cook the cooking apple is definitely the best one to use. Now, you just want to put these into big portions. That, obviously. Now, I like my crumble with a, a bit of apple that's a bit crunchy not too soft the trouble is if you either make portion bits of apple cooking apple too small or you cook them too long it's just going to be like a lovely appley mush at the bottom but i prefer my crumble to have the apple that looks uh, still looks a, a bit like apple cooks but still looks like apple so i think the secret is to just have reasonable size chunk so take the skin off and slice them up it's a reasonably large chunk it's a i'm doing a, some some that are quite thick and some that are quite thin um it's a matter of kind of trial and error it doesn't have to be very precise but so the, the the thicker bits will take long to cook and so won't go down to a to a mush so i'm going to do all four quarters of this and it takes a little while deliberately didn't prepare it earlier because i want to, to show you the kind of size of pieces no mm -hmm. oh, some good chunky ones in there oh that's probably a bit too chunky and I'm making some smaller bits. It's nice to have a bit of apple that's that's kind of um, gone to a quite a liquid consistency. I'm using a lovely blunt knife here, which is my favourite because it means I don't actually take slices out of my fingers, and uh, I find that blood. Blood or fingers and crumble probably isn't what we should be aiming for. Just as a as side when doing this, it is November at the moment, and you would love to hear that I'm still wearing my shorts. It's been a glorious day, and it's been lovely and warm, even though there was frost last night. 
I still think shorts are in order. Nearly there. Right, that's it. That's that's the apple done. I think if I had another small apple, I might have checked if there's a small apple on that. But we're only doing one for two, so uh, so that that that's that that will have to do. Now you can. I'm just going to leave it like that and cook it like that with the apple but you can add things to that if you want you can add uh, blackberries raspberries or saltanas or uh, the odd clove you know, loads of things could, could, could go in it to give it a bit of uh, bit of flavor cloves are nice in the winter because they really make it uh, make it taste uh, nice for a winter's evening so that that's that's that apple mixture done and now of covering the apple with crumble what you want is just a nice even coverage all over it so you want to sort of mix it in well not mix it in just cover it cover it over and you may need to sh shove it around a bit so it's everything's covered and that now we keep it nice and loose you don't want to pad it down uh, it's also quite nice to have kind of rough covering on the top that will make it even crunchy and that is now ready to go that's your apple crumble now and this goes in the oven uh, temperature 200 degrees celsius 400 fahrenheit for those in the states um, the recipe book says 30 to 40 minutes I'd say 30 minutes max really um, but what you can do especially if you're using a Pyrex you can see so you can see how it's going if it's looking as though it's going to go down to a mush well then it's probably done um, but the key thing is is the crumble nice and you know hard and cr crispy on the top if it's nice and crispy on the top you know it's done and if you don't mind a bit of crunchy apple even better so that is basically it so I'd say about 30 minutes we'll check it after about 25 because it might be ready then but a bit trial and error you never get to the same so there you go we'll come back to you later and i'll show you the end result here we are 30 minutes later with the crumble and here it is lovely solid top on there and this is the best way to see it lovely no soft top like that. that's really hard and crispy um, this was in for 30 minutes and it's a very small one so I think it's probably it's probably a bit too long uh, but it's a bit apple so let's just see what it looks like when we serve it out oh 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 look at that That's... oh look it's hot oh the apple looks good actually the apple looks good Look at that. We're going to finish off this one and this one. Make sure we have the one that. Oh, this one. a lovely big bit of apple. Oh, the apple looks. Yeah. It's alright. A bit soft, but could be worse. later and all we're gonna pretend to leave some for a second helper so right the humans and there we go right we're gonna serve this with custard or standard custard um, Tom you might have difficulty getting custard but I suppose you could always make some look for the recipe on the web uh, cream would work um, what else would work ice cream would also work so we're just gonna have a little bit a 
well casted on the top. Oh, look at that. And I think it's a matter of enjoy. Yum. <laughs>